Kevin Laverty with Schneider Electric. We're here to talk about the UPS system that's in place here. What we have here is a Symmetra 40 kilo, Symmetra PX 40 kilowatt. Um, this is a actually configured to 20 kilowatts with an N plus one redundancy. We have three cabinets in front of us. The first here is the actual UPS that houses the electronics and the battery. Uh, the second cabinet over here is an it's extended run battery cabinet. This is just to give us more run time on the UPS. And the third cabinet is our PDU. This is where the power comes in and out of, and it has our distribution for uh, all of our loads that are going to be coming off. So within the first cabinet, you'll see it's built up with many modules. The modules themselves are uh, the various different portions of the UPS. At the very top, I have two intelligence modules. These are completely redundant. Uh, to the brains of the UPS. If one of them were to uh, need to be serviced or replaced, the other one takes over operation of the unit. Below that, I have five slots for power modules. The power modules are the, the UPS, what we normally think of as the UPS, the electronics portion. These are 10 kilowatt power modules. You have room for five of them, with, which would be 40 kilowatts with an M plus one. It's currently configured with three of them, so it's either 30 kilowatts or 20 kilowatts with an extra module for redundancy. Below that, I have my battery modules. Battery modules come four modules to a shelf. Each shelf is a string. The strings are redundant to each other and they add runtime. So if I were to lose this battery, I don't lose my UPS, I just reduce my runtime by a little bit. Below my power modules and battery modules, I have my IO section. This is where my system enable and DC disconnect switch are. It's also where all of my communications cards are. Immediately below my I.O. module, I have my static switch. This is how I go to and from, uh, bypass if that's ever needed. So again, starting at the top, I have my intelligence modules, power modules, battery modules, I.O., and static switch.